rundown, because since you're here, I hope that also means that you you're, have bought into the mission of Underworld Productions. And Underworld P Productions does a lot of things. There's a lot of outreach that they do. We have a school program in the Bronx. There's a resident artist program, of which you're going to be hearing a sampling of. And of course, there's the main stage programs also. Um, and we have many in areas of interest, as, as Gina was just tell telling you about. And, and this particular season is going to emphasize those. Traditional opera, of course with a very fresh take, always with Dina's very creative and imaginative eye, and critical analytical eye also. Um, rarities that are sometimes almost never performed now from the past, and then many premieres of new works. And I want to talk about um, the Cross Current uh, performance, which will be in March um, at CASA. And then there's a the very special performance of the Scarlatti, <coughs> um, which is a New York premiere. That's the Il Triunfo della Dore, and you're going to hear a sampling of that this evening. It's kind of like a... a in this particular treatment of the Don Juan story, he actually repents. So, <laughs> so it's also paired with some um, music from Don Giovanni as well to give, kind of give you a, a deeper understanding of what you're hearing in this story. That's going to be performed again, a New York premiere here in May uh, at the Casa Italiano with orchestra. Um, I also wanted to make you aware that, if, in case you missed it, up at the top there's the silent auction that's going to be going on during the reception as well. Take time, browse among the many things. There's all kinds of different price points from $25 all the way to $1,000. Um, and then at the very close of the evening, we'll, we'll close out those auctions and the people with the highest bid, of course, will win. And um, as well, we have a mailing list at the front and the place where you checked in to get your tickets, you can sign up to get a mailing list as well. So I don't want to uh, delay the music any further. That's what you're here for. But again, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to have you and please enjoy. And I need to give you the, the translation of the Italian. So listen closely, there'll be a quiz. The happy season in her gentle dress again smiles in my memory on the heights and the green hills where I first saw her. She was sparkling in the airs and waters, the new April, submitting to the breeze from the west. The boughs were set to tremble softly, and <coughs> she, through the tender forest, so blonde, sang to the sun, clothed. Thank you. 
Oh, <laughs> 
material as well as unusual material, but always with a little twist. And what more mainstream at this time of year than Handel's Messiah, right? Dozens of Messiah performances all around the city, everyone in their special way. Well, we want to do it in our way, and that is in Italian. <laughs> so we decided to do just that. Luckily, Handel has several Italian uh, duets that he wrote prior to writing the Messiah, from which he stole his own material and put it into the Messiah. You're going to hear two of those duets tonight, and it's up to you to guess, you know, guess that, to name that tune, right? Figure out where, which part of the Messiah it comes from. So here we go. First is Non di voi fidavi.
Opera and the Bugger World Productions Opera is a resident artist program, and we're very, very proud of it. In this program, we bring um, young singers and emerging singers to become full-fledged stage performers. And whether they're coming from an education or from private voice lessons, and wherever their career may take them, we bring them to the next level. In this um, semester alone, and the season is still young, these young singers have already worked with a composer to shape a new premiere piece. They've had workshops with uh, blind-born dramaturge Corey Ellison and with uh, Comedia dell'arte expert Vivi Biondi and have already performed in several uh, outreach performances. We like to go to community centers, to libraries, and to wherever people are, and perhaps these people have not been exposed very much to opera, and sort of bring them to you know, some more familiarity with something that might not be so familiar to them. So as we do that, one of the things we like to do most is to bring some opera selections in English. Not translations, but things that were written in English, of which we have many beautiful examples. And so the next set, you're going to hear several uh, arias and songs in English, and these are mostly done by our resident artists, so please enjoy the next set of English pieces.
this period that we really needed, uh, young singers really needed our support, <laughs> donations that you give to the foundation that we can really support them in effectively um, um, and, and practically with, with um, economically and also mentoring uh, in, in, in a way that uh, Gina does in staging and, and uh, directing and you do also um, coaching yeah tech. Yes. yeah so that's uh, that's the way and, and the talent that I hear you this is what my fourth year that I'm coming here for mm -hmm. so I feel really I I hear talent uh, even better every year every single year and, and this is um, this is beautiful what you do and so please uh, continue to support uh, the Underworld production because uh, um, it's important to help young singers. It's important that um, singers feel that uh, there is a, um, an institution, there is a somebody like Gina, like me, at, uh, that they don't feel uh, alone, they don't feel lonely. They, they, they feel that uh, we can give our knowledge, our know-how, our experience and our time, our love for the job that we, we really love. So thank you.
Thank you.